Hey you guys, it's Sangin and welcome to my channel. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to be sharing with you another one of my essays that I wrote for the Stanford Supplement. This one is going to be about intellectual vitality and um, I really enjoy this, this piece so just sit back and listen or read along. It's going to be in the description box below as well so you can definitely follow along. So the prompt specifically is an idea or experience that makes you excited about learning. And so my response to that was, my parents always told me, it doesn't matter what you pursue in life, as long as you're giving it 110%. I took this advice to heart. So when my eighth grade class was presented with the challenge of creating an experiment for science fair, I was determined to solve an issue I believed would truly have a real world impact, a cure for cancer. I wasn't concerned with plausibility because the idea that I wouldn't be able to achieve my goal never crossed my mind. It just meant I would have to delve deeper to accomplish it. My grandmother battles cancer every day. I had to solve this. For two years, I worked every free moment after school in coalition with the John McDonald Biological Sciences Lab at Georgia Tech to find a cure. I was driven by the knowledge that my research could one day save someone's life didn't feel like work to me because the impact of the end result would be so much greater than the time I'd spent contemplating it. After long hours of experimentation and research, I was filled to the brim with pride as I had finally managed to develop a new proven treatment method for ovarian cancer, research that went on to earn me a place at the Intel ISAF Science Fair. I never believed in the impossible, but rather in being resourceful with relentless persistence. Problem solving is one of my innate traits and will always be a fundamental part of how I think. So there you have it. Um, that was my answer to the intellectual vitality prompt for the Stanford supplement. I hope you enjoyed, I hope this was helpful. Um, and I'll of course will be sharing um, the other essays with you um, as well. Um, and those will be the future roommate letter and something meaningful to me and why. And so I look forward to see you guys again then, and I hope you all have a great day. See you later. Bye!